have you ever asked yourself, are there other ways of thinking that you haven't thought about? Where did you get your worldview? How do you know that your worldview is right? How do you know if it's wrong? That's part of the process of going back to source. You have to ask yourself, what if I was wrong? What about other people and the way they think, you know? What they're trying to do in society right now, they're trying to make people think just totally insane. They're trying to take the minds of mankind, men and women, and make them create some kind of fake, fake reality, you know? The reason God has a female and a male is because you got night and day. That's why the Chinese have yin and yang. Adam and Eve, night and day. Adam is A-D-A-M, towards A-M. Eve is evening. That's why you got ones and zeros. Can a one say I'm a zero or a zero say I'm a one? No. This whole system this whole demonic system is to see if he can lie to you. What do you think? Okay, so it's a death cult, right? So you're in a death cult. What do you think the death cult's going to do? All the minions of the devil, they're going to see what lie they can get you to believe. They're trying to create new lies. That's what the devil's system is. He's just like in your mind, if you're saved... You're looking for truth. You're rightly dividing the word of truth. Well, they're the opposite. They're trying to see what kind of lie they can get you to believe. Everything about them is to create another lie. That's what a narcissist is. Psychopath, sociopath. They're trying to get you to believe a lie. The whole system is to get you to believe lies. And it's not just in... Uh, cults and isms is in corporations it's in your family it's in your neighborhood it's in the news it's in the media the whole system if you really think about the devil system if you really okay jesus is the way the truth and the life what is the devil well he said the devil is a liar and a murderer from the beginning so everything in the system is lies and murder. If you speak the truth, they want to kill you. If you believe their lies, you become a flying monkey and they love you. Let me say it again. If you speak the absolute unadulterated truth, they want to kill you. This is why you won't find a preacher in any church in America who says wives obey your husbands wives submit to your husbands you'll never hear a preacher say that because the congregation will try to kill him because they don't believe in authority in the home but the authority in the home is more authority in the state to be honest with you but people don't want to hear that they want to kill you if you say something like that see they want you to believe a lie and so you got Adam and Eve you got ones and zeros. You got night and day. You got up and down. The woman does her work making babies laying down. The man does his work going out into the field upright. Building houses and stuff. It's all types and shadows and, and anti-types. And so because the anti-type is there... And the devil system is nothing but an anti-Christ, anti-type. So this is why Neo, in certain scenes in the uh, Matrix movie, Neo was a type of Christ. But at the same time, he was a type of the anti-Christ. A type and an anti-type. You see Batman and Bizarro. You see uh, Flash and Reverse Flash. There's always a type and an anti-type. 
what does it represent? It represents the flesh and the spirit. So in the spirit mind, in heaven, they think in the spirit. They're outside of the flesh. So when you're born in this place, you are upside down. Your mind is opposite. So when somebody shows up on the scene, a prophet, a priest, or a king, or a saint, or a born again, start speaking truth, you start to change reality back to normal. This is why the earth groans for the sons of God to appear. So when you start speaking truth, you break the matrix. And the matrix goes crazy, and it goes more crazy and more crazy. The more truth you speak, the crazier it has to get. This is why they're doing what they're doing. Because we're speaking absolute truth. I've decoded this place, and I've everything, stuff that I sent out 10 years ago, I'm starting to see people talk about it. Now, they take it out of context, but I see people, just like when I was talking about free energy, it showed up. When I was talking about walking the spirit, it showed up. I, some of the decodes I threw out a long time ago, they're starting to show up on Instagram. They don't even know where it came from. I spoke it into the, the matrix. Every person is per the sun. I came up with that, and now I'm seeing other people say it. It's right there in the words. The etymology tells it all. When you contemplate, when you meditate, you edit, you template. When you turn it over in your mind, turn is wind, wind is wind. That's why do you think the the wind blows? It's a turning, it's a winding. Everything outside it represents what's going on the inside in the human. You couldn't figure it, you couldn't function in this place if it wasn't a, a fractal of yourself. And let me say that again. You couldn't function in Mother Earth's reality or the universe if it wasn't a fractal image of yourself. Let me say it again because I know this is hard to hear. I understand what I'm saying, but I know it's hard. Just like there's a mi micro and a macro. I, let me say it this way. Let me talk about it this way. The only reason a child can understand the parent is because the child has two arms, two legs, a head, a mouth, is hungry. The only reason the, the parent can understand the child is because the parent knows the baby is hungry and uh, knows it needs to sleep and all that. The only reason you can understand an animal because it's got four legs or two legs and hopping around or something like that and you know it has to eat you know how animals think because because your old adamic nature is the brute beast and so you can't understand this reality unless you are a, you came from this reality a part of it a fractal holographic view of the earth plane this is why the earth groans waiting for the sons of god to appear because the earth is tired of the flesh creatures and so when the spirit creatures come on the scene they bring everything into proper order the anti-type flesh mind can't even understand the spirit mind so when you get born again you have the spirit mind and if the flesh mind listens to you they don't they think you're being mean or dogmatic or you're being uh uh, chauvinistic or the, no God created a man for a purpose and he created a woman for a purpose this has nothing to do with so, chauvinism it's to do with the, what did God create you to be if you're created to have babies go do it if you're created to be a man go do it but be what you are be what God created you to be don't try to change it You'll be happy when you do what God created you to be. Anyway, so I'm trying to show you something. That you wouldn't be able to understand the earth plane unless you came from the earth plane. You wouldn't be able to understand the spirit plane unless you got born again by the spirit. And so this is why you're, if you're saved, you're like a little God down here because you should be able to see the types and the shadows. You should be able to know how to invest. You should be able to see the patterns and the repeats and the cycles and the birthing. You should be able to see through this place. You should be able to see through the simulation because it's all a fractal, holographic, micro, macro, repeat, cycle, birthing system. 
If you can grasp anything I just said, hallelujah. Use your brain. God gave you a brain. Use your spirit mind. God gave you a spirit mind if you're saved.